Adrian, good morning. Hi, baby brother. Good morning. Come on, stretch out. Come on. Oh, yeah. Stretch on out. Okay, stretch out the arm. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. Time to get up. Good morning. Well, good afternoon because we slept until 1 o'clock. So now we gotta get ready for the day. Right? Where are you going? Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go redder. Go redder. Go redder. Hey. Yes. Let's go, G. Okay, so to start off our morning, I just move Adrian onto my bed, um, especially since we don't have a separate like spare bedroom um, since it's my filming room. And then I just gather all of the stuff that I need to get him ready um, and his clothes and everything. And then I start removing his t-shirt that he wore last night. Adrian likes to bite on his t-shirt. I don't know what it is, but um, he tears holes in his shirts, like large <laughs> holes in his t-shirt. I don't know, he's a weirdo, but um, so we do make sure we put on him, especially when he's eating and stuff like that. But other than that, we just put him on his holy t-shirts that he's already bitten a hole in because we don't got time for Adrian. He just, it's a mess. So now I'm just rolling him over just to change his butt. Luckily, he didn't boo-boo because the day before this he boo-booed that morning and I just ah, ah, who loves changing shit right but he did it so it just made cleaning him up this morning really easy I do make sure I put on gloves because I have nails and things get stuck under nails and it's just disgusting so now I'm just taking his pamper and a little bit of powder just because when I wipe him up his butt is a little damp and you know we don't want any bed sores or anything like that like left on his butt so we make sure we powder him up and get him all nice and clean and everything um uh sorry if my video keeps going in and out of focus i don't know what it was doing this day it was just all over the place but um i'm just removing my gloves and then i'm going to secure his pamper i really make sure that i secure because sometimes his little weeder weeder will move and he'll pee and get pee all over wherever he's sitting or laying and it's not the most fun so um also i do have a mat underneath of him because of that fact so now i'm just starting to get him ready I'm putting him first on a white beater. I did apply some deodorant to his arms because his arms don't raise up as high as ours do. So he can get a little tart underneath of there sometimes. Um, and I don't have his chair to put him in the tub. So if I put him in the tub, I'll have to wait for Jack to get home. So now I'm putting on his little shorts. Um, my aunt didn't realize it was going to be really hot this week when she went on vacation. So he had uh, two pairs of shorts. So I'm washing both of those pairs and, and using those because it's pretty hot um, and then I'm just gonna place on his t-shirt and it may seem like I'm pretty rough with him but Adrian is like I said at the end of this video 23 and we've been getting him dressed since I've been able to get him dressed so um, he's used to everything he's used to being tugged and pulled and things like that and it does not hurt him at all um, so yeah just a just a little warning there but yeah yeah so now that we've got him smelling good, I just brought in his back brace because I'm going to put that on in a little bit and I start to brush his teeth. And Adrian hates getting his teeth brushed and he hates getting his face washed. And it's always a struggle so I have to kind of pinch his jaws apart to get in there and get like this, his molars and his back teeth and everything like that. Um, and then he just will like thrash his head back and forth while I'm washing his face. So it's a constant struggle but we got to make sure he looks clean and um, put together. <laughs> Let me see. Look at sister. Let me see. Look at me. Yeah. Yeah. He's so handsome. Sit your head up. Sit your head up. Beautiful. You're so beautiful. You're so handsome. You're handsome. Handsome family. You handsome family. Look at me. Yeah. Look at you. Okay, so now it's time for his back brace. So I'm just gonna lift him up and then lay him on top of it and then I have to pick him up and put him 
inside of it and he got this molded to his actual back and his spine just to keep him nice and upright and to keep him from lifting or shifting over because adrian shifts over to the right which is why it's like i don't know how to explain it but he shifts over and he leans over to the right whether he's in the wheelchair whether he's sitting up whether he's laying down it doesn't matter he just naturally gravitates that way so putting this brace on him it just keeps him nice and, and compact in one spot and we don't have to worry about him leaning over or anything like that um like i said i just like to keep him in this when i have him during the week and then i move him out into the living room and luckily we stay in an apartment where it's not up and down or anything like that our new house is also not up and down so moving him from the guest bedroom in the new house to uh the living room won't be a hassle or anything so i just put his bib on him just because he was about to eat some lunch um and then covered him up because his legs they move but if they don't move obviously they get a little warm so that's it so far okay you guys so the last and final part of our morning routine at least for me and adrian over here at my house is like lunch and then his medicine so he gets his medicine every morning and evening um, and for lunch, he's having corn dog nuggets because I've cut him up into it. He can bite and like, you know, bite into things, but um, I just don't like to deal with Adrian and a, and a corn dog because the stick, once he gets a hold of the stick, he likes to like, like bite and hold onto it and you have to like, just kind of like pull it to get out of his mouth because he plays too much. You play too much, don't you? Yeah, you play too many games. So. I just cut him up but um, Adrian is over here at my house for the week because his caregiver our aunt uh, went on vacation so he just came over here with me and MB um, but just a little bit about Adrian he is my younger brother so we have the same mom and dad um, and he was the one that I was talking about in my life my life video um, he has uh, well he had baby shaken syndrome so when he was a baby he was shook um, and then that led to like other problems like cerebral palsy and like a bunch of different other th things that I personally don't know a lot about because at the time I was I was a baby too so I don't know a lot about everything that he's had but he used to have seizures really 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 bad I do remember that and that is part of the reason why he takes the um, valproic acid um, but right yeah valproic acid um, but he doesn't have seizures anymore he was sick recently weren't you baby brother you were sick um but he's feeling a lot better but um but yeah he um he he's he's a good brother he doesn't have too many issues or anything like that the brace is just to keep because he has obviously he has like a curved spine from how he sits and he leans to like one side so his spine is really curved so it just keeps him nice and upright and kind of straight a little more straight than he would be without the brace so over here he wears the brace like when he wakes up I'll put it on him until it's time to go to bed because I really want him to you know to be in it it is a little uncomfortable for him but Saturdays and Sundays he doesn't wear it. so if he comes over on the weekend he doesn't wear it but throughout the week he needs to wear it um, and my aunt's the same way so uh, yeah um, what else Adrian he is 23 so he'll be 24 in September um, him and our niece Sydney's their birthday is only a day apart so he's on the 10th and she's on the 9th uh, so they act a lot alike they're funny acting as hell and he only likes to talk on Sundays so hence the reason why he's not talking and since he's not at home with our Nana in the morning he'll um, he'll wake up and he'll say like I want to I want to call Nana like he'll he'll ask me for things that he wants so if he wants to listen to music he'll ask me which he loves who do you love Kirk Franklin Fred Hammond Donnie McClurkin you love Medea what else do you love you love Chris Tucker he loves Chris Tucker oh my gosh he loves Medea um who else do you love you love Mr. Brown right yes you love he loves all the rush hour movies um money talks anything with chris tucker in it he absolutely loves it um what else g what else do you love come on 
Oh, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh. SpongeBob. And I don't have cable over here because we're just not big cable watchers. But I do have like a fire stick. So he loves SpongeBob. He watches SpongeBob literally all day when he's at home with, with our aunt. He loves SpongeBob and Patrick and all that. So yeah, he just uh he he loved everything. I really wanted to take him to see the Medea farewell tour. But it was just too much going on with the wedding and everything, so we didn't get a chance to see that. But yeah, we're uh, we're the same age for October, November, December, three months. So we're the same age for three months. Um, but yeah, he loves crunchy stuff too. So I make all of his food in the air fryer because he loves it. But I think that's it. I think that's it. That's it, right, Jake? Oh, you're smacking? You smacking? Didn't didn't grandma teach you some manners? Didn't grandma teach you manners? Hmm? Do you want Sister is tired. She tired. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, oh baby brother. Ow. Stop. I'm dirty. What? What? What could you want with me? Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed um, a little tidbit and a little insight into Adrian and my life um, while he's over here spending time with me. He's just trying to hit me, so that's what he's trying to do. Can you say bye? Will you say bye? Because I know you can say bye. Will you say bye to the people? Say peace out. Say bye. No. Say adios amigos. You get to show them how you speak Spanish? No. Come on. Say, say bye to the people. All right. He, he ain't going to say bye. So we will talk to you later. Um, we would do an evening routine together, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's just backwards. <laughs> like, like, it's pretty much the same thing. So, I don't know. Let us know. Um, yeah. See y'all. Thank you.